Hi, my name is Al Arruda. This is my IP subnet table video. I'm creating this video to take ownership of an IP subnet table that I created back in September 2013. Um, this is a technical video uh, describing its uh, creation and use. Uh, it's assumed that you are already an IT person with technical background in IP subnetting and binary. Otherwise, a lot of this won't make sense. Okay, the goal of this table is to give my students a cheat sheet um, in order to take uh, a net plus test. Um, they had no background and uh, couldn't do binary math, so I had to come up with something to help them. So in the first row of my, my uh, table, we start out um, just doing basic numbers. Now the goal of this spreadsheet uh, or this uh, table was to break up networks. Uh, it's assumed in this uh, uh, table uh, or uh, video that we'll be only working in the last octet doing basic subnetting of uh, class C address. Um, the goal was to break our networks down. Yeah, you all know binary, I'm assuming so. Uh, in this case, we're taking our network and we want to break it down into two networks. In doing that, we're stealing the first bit in the last octet. Um, in doing so, we use the weight or the value of that bit as our subnet mask. So this will be my number of networks, in this case, two. My networks will have in this case it will be this number minus two so this will be my hosts minus two so in this case i'll have 126 hosts because the the value of this bit is 128 my subnet mass now becomes 128 and now my next breakdown would be to break down that network the 256 ip addresses into four networks each network has 64 IP addresses in it. We're now stealing two bits, so we add the two together. 128 and 64 is 192. Now, we want to break our network into eight networks, each having 30 hosts or 32 IP, uh, 32 IP addresses. We're now using three bits. So we'll add them together, 128 and 164 is 192, plus 32 is 224. And we break it down again. We end up with 16 networks with 16 IP addresses in them. We add the 224 and 16, we end up with 240. We break it down again. This time, we're going to double our numbers. As you can see, we have a, a progression here, a doubling progression binary again, so we end up with 32 networks, each having eight IP addresses, or 240 plus eight is 248. Our next progression is 64 networks. Our subnet mask is now gonna be 252. Our next progression is not usable, uh, but it, we still finish it for the table because we can grow the table in both directions. So in this case, we're going to end up with 128 networks with no usable IP addresses because we have only two IP addresses available. This is subnet mask of 254. And then finally, all 256 networks uh, with no, with one IP address in each. And that's going to give us 255 as a subnet mask. Now, this table has many, many, many uses. Uh, the first and easiest one is, let me label my ciders first here, slash 25. No.
let me label my ciders here. So the simplest thing to do with this table right off the bat is to identify through a CIDR what the possible subnet mask would be, number of networks and hosts available in that network. So in this case, if they gave me an IP address of, let's say, 192.168.100.0, and they gave me a CIDR of slash 28 when they sent that to me, I would know that my subnet mask was going to be 240 and that I would have a potential of 14 IP addresses available to me in that network. Now, depending on which one the, the, the ISP gave me as my default gateway, I could probably make an assumption. So in the case of, uh, in this case, we're just gonna go with the site that told us 240. Now, some scenarios that they give us in the test. They may give us two IP addresses, let's say 192.168.100.7 and 192.168.100.13. say and they may ask us, based on this uh, subnet mask, are these two IP addresses in the same network? Now, using the table, we can find that out. First, we know that our subnet mask is 240, so we go to the table to where 240 is. Now, the reason that I left this number whole instead of subtracting my hosts and making you do it on the fly is because this becomes a primary number for everything that we do in my table once we've identified the subnet mask. 16 is the number of IP addresses we have in each network or in our ranges. So to keep this simple, I'm just going to say, uh, using my example of 7s and 13s, uh, we always start in binary with 0. And in this case, because my CIDR is 28, my subnet mask is 240, my magic number is 16, I increment in 16s. Now, I'm already past the numbers that I need, so I can stop here. Now, an interesting phenomena is whatever this number is, the end of my last network is one less. So I'm going to know that my last network ends in 15. I'm going to know that this network ends in 31 because the next one's 32. Now, this becomes my network address. This becomes my broadcast address. This becomes my first good one. This becomes my last good one. So I add one to everything in this range. And I subtract one from my broadcast and everything on this end. And I haven't calculated that out. OK, so now we could see 7 and 13 are both in the same network in this case, because they're between 1 and 14. So in this case, the, the answer would be true. It could have been that they gave me a CIDR of 29, in which case this would have been 248. In this case, my net magic number now is 8. So I changed to 8 here. My last number, again, let me clear all these. My last number becomes 1 before, so in this case it's 7. In this case it's 15. My first good one is 1, 9, and 17. My last good ones are 6 and 14. Now you can see that these are in two separate uh, networks. In fact, now what you can see is 7 isn't even a valid address. It's a broadcast address for the first network. And 13 is a valid IP address in the second network. I think that's enough to show how the spreadsheet works. I've also taken and shown first, last, 
in a in a table for simplicity during testing and this is what I teach my students so you can quickly write this table down figure out your first let last broadcast and network addresses readily you can answer most questions this is in a class C environment but you can take these numbers out in both directions and do class B and class A addresses as well subnetted um, I think that's sufficient to show the, the means and use of my table. Uh, thank you.